Hey what's up? In this video we'll integrate Vuex into our existing application. So if you are new to Vuex uh, it is totally fine you'll learn how to use this on real project uh, with real example. So uh, if you don't know what Vuex, Vuex is uh, it uh, just organizes our code uh, like uh, we don't need to pass props and everything uh, so yeah. Uh, it is like a centralized store where all data will be and yeah we'll see how we do that so if you don't understand uh, theory so let's get st started by installing this so I will run this command into our existing application which is phone book uh, which we made a couple of videos ago so open up terminal and run npm install vuex okay that's added uh, now let's so to set this up uh, so this is our existing project and here inside source uh, we have uh, asset component and router so we'll create a new folder uh, named store to, uh, to store all our vuex related code so here I'll create a new JavaScript file. So you can call it store.js or index.js. Okay. Also, we need to run npm dep. Okay, so we created this uh, file, and here what we need to do is uh, we need to import. Uh, we need to import first Vuex from Vuex. There we go and also we need to import view from view and then we need to use this plugin so view.use and then name a plugin view x there we go so now uh, we are using that and now we need to export so new vx store so here uh, we will store all of our states getters mutator ex uh, actions so if you don't know what these uh, those are you'll learn in a moment so so this is basic setup and then now this is uh, we need to uh, include this into our main view instance which is inside main.js so here we'll import that file which we just created so let's do that import store store from store and index.js so now we need to use this variable like we used this router here so store so now we can use this uh, store variable uh, throughout our application. So 
here we'll define define couple of properties and then we can use those using this store okay so this is our application now uh, where we can do this phone book related crud and log in log out so although this is not big application uh, but uh, we'll use this few x yeah works fine so let's go to data table and let's see uh, yeah so we are facing contacts so we might need this face contacts method in other places so where we need this contact related data so also we are doing editing deleting everything this axios request so what we want to do is we want to keep uh, this organized and put this related uh, data inside our store so let's do that so currently uh, all contacts are stored inside here contacts and we are displaying those so what we want to do is we want to put this contact in our central store so that if any other component require this we'll get from store so for a small project like this it might seem redundant or too much work but uh, if project grows bigger we might need these data in multiple components and multiple places so at that time it will be useful okay so let's uh, go to let's split this file and go to uh, store index so this one and here what we do is we'll create contacts and it will be null by default and and now we'll create actions so actions are like uh, methods but uh, they can perform asynchronous action like doing a ajax and other options so um, and let's create a method called uh, fetch contacts so here we can get context and payload so if any data but in this case we don't need that so what we'll do is we'll perform this fast contacts this action inside this so now we need to update this contacts because here after Ajax we are getting uh, that contacts related data and we need to uh, take that so what we can do is this contacts contain store so what we can do is contacts context dot state dot contacts equals to this data response dot data dot data so that will work fine but uh, what we want to do is uh, if we need to change this store we need to create our mutations so by doing this uh, our code will be uh, easy to debug if anything go wrong or goes wrong we need to just look at these mutations and see what uh, things go wrong so let's create mutations uh, name it uh, set context so the uh, it is like a setter and getter in PSP so we'll cut this code and put it inside here so you can you can always look uh, to this documentation what this uh, thing do state yeah yeah so we can get uh, this um, de by default it is uh, automatically injected so we got this state instance and then what we can do is instead of context we can do state dot contacts equals to response data so instead of res response data we'll get payload uh, from here or yeah you can name it anything in this case contacts I'll call this so this contacts will be coming from we'll call this method in a moment so set context so we need to call this here so context dot commit so this is how we call these mutations and name it set contacts so 
this way we are uh, facing cont uh, contacts and in our data table to what we can do is so when this method is created we are initializing which means we are facing contacts so we can access that using this uh, store and here we can uh, do uh, get state but in this case we are calling this fetch contacts function so we need to use dispatch and name of fetch contacts like this so this is the equivalent of this so now this will fetch contacts but uh, this won't update this contacts but we'll get that contact variable from our contacts from our store so we'll make computed property if anything changes it will automatically return change so uh, this dot store dot state and name will be contacts like so so now it should work uh, fine let's see contacts is already defined in data where is it oh we need to remove this this is in multiple place so uh, instead of that now we'll use a computed property uh, you know what uh, we did some mistake here so while committing we need to pass the contacts so otherwise how will that response dot data dot data my bad so here we are calling this set context function we are this is um, by default and we are passing this data here okay so after adding uh, vux it works uh, just like before so now everything is related to this fetching is inside our central store so if we need to change anything we can go there and change similarly we can put uh, put these other uh, code there just like uh, we did for this store sorry this contacts similarly you can make other method like fetch uh, put or update store and delete and similarly call like this or you can also use uh, map uh, map getter sorry map mutations which will help you with some yeah it will slightly shorten the syntax but yeah, you can look about that here okay i'll see you in the next video with more on vuex and vuejs so till then goodbye